up for the photo shoot, everyone. And don't look at the details, just look at the color pattern. So these are men and these are women. And what you can see in general... Yeah. ...at the Dean and the Associate Dean for your invitation. It, it's um, a huge honor and privilege, so thank you. Thank you. In fact, the health equity in terms of accessibility, availability. You can see the distance, you know, closer to many famous for fish. But <laughs> coffee, tea, and refreshments are provided outside the auditorium. The next session will begin. Different problems, different a lot. Like that. So every country has their own problem. And among this series of reports, personally, I think we are facing very really similar the, the situation. Uh, rapid globalization, uh, urbanization, and the transboundary chemical transportation, a sustainable uh, consumption, uh, even the climate change. So National Taiwan University Hospital. He is very, very good at rapid disease screening program. This program is very important because it set up the framework for the upcoming the mass eradication program for gastric cancer prevention. So I, I start to this study of the gastric cancer is the highest in the mass island. The causes of them worldwide, as was mentioned by my colleague. So uh, about that actually can do a lot, not only as public health practitioners, but as politicians in and in each sector of yes. society. That's occurring in people aged less than 70 caused by NCDs. So the, what we call epidemiological transition is a reality across the world. The dark core is over 70%, have more than 30% of deaths due to these causes. What that means? that we can, given the correct resources and activities, decrease from 70 from 30. This is less than 50% uh, proportion. Of Instead of less capacity, actually, it's per year, we have half of the, those numbers for cancer, approximately. And then we have half of those numbers, how, how, uh, first of all, how, how, disease altogether, high blood pressure, number one, that means, consequently, a very large increase in the numbers of deaths, including deaths, deaths for NCDs, which are costly to be really, really extremely important. So it's a, it's a major concern worldwide. There are several uh, related problems, not only directly affecting the populations, but globally, with migration among others, which have to be considered as well at global level. So again, if you need relatable, by interventions that tackle shared risk factors for them all. And with the knowledge that we have today, we can do a lot uh, to, do, uh, to tackle this. So the, this is a minimal set of, of activities and interventions that we need to consider when we are tackling cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, and chronic respiratory disease. That's effect for the money we invest in public health. And they summarize these interventions in what is called best buys. What you get most out of, out of the money you invest in public tobacco is reduce affordability of tobacco. Uh, it is a very, very high status for us. Now, there's a uh, welcome. Very, very beginning. Alzheimer's, a bond-longitudinal study of the parents and children, which is how it's known in the scientific community, but it's also known as children of the 90s by the, by the cohort participants. Never do that. Do not call your study two different names. It causes too much confusion. Retention strategies. As Yate had a tradition of national birth surveys, 1958 was the second, there was one before that in 1946, so this was recruited in 1958. And Jean Golding worked on the 58th cohort, and she said she was entranced by the topic and methodology of what by then. Jean Golding had designed and planned and uh, uh, worked very hard on it, so she said, okay, she'll run from here, but at the, uh, the beginning, of, uh, there were 13, maybe 14,000, and at the start, there are 8,000, so this uh, is really, well, these, these are the questionnaires, okay? 
and the response rates here. But this is quite interesting. These are the clinics, the children's clinics. Again, the eight-year clinic, there are a lot of psycho the psychologists in trying <laughs> uh, Generating trust. Okay, that is absolutely vital, especially if you're highly confidential information. You know, we ask for really, you know, about sex to good relationships with a good idea at all. It did increase um, peanut allergy, and in fact, policy has been changed due to that. And then the, the cot deaths, although um, we... Uh, this is the third speaker. speaker. The third speaker is Professor Tonda. But the, you know, whenever you come to the uh, to your audit, you have to always uh, fail. Probably not, because I don't have data. <laughs> but I'm wrong, actually. My young generation that sent up here to provide some evidence about life expectancy on alcohol, COVID, and uh, I know everybody know this uh, uh, about. This geography uh, 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 <coughs> profile between Taiwan wheat because of the, uh, the civil administration of the world of weekend. So today you can see there are so many uh, improvement actually compared with the day. The next decade is screening. Screening is only the platform. Screening cannot do all the things. They can only do very small things, but they need all the field to help. And so that's why, you see, whenever so I mentioned before, because of salty food, because of the environmental uh, hygiene situation, it's not so good in the whole day. So the hydropower infection is also our previous dean of National uh, College of Public Health, National Taiwan University, together with the Dr. Lin Zhao Tang, He's also a professor in the Gesu and George that came to Mazu with uh, uh, to introduce the community based the Gesu cancer screening, multiple disease screening, including five cancer and the screening of bronchial disease. So we spent from Gesu cancers to the multiple disease screening. So this is called the phase two screening program. We still find the Gesu cancers is a problem in these islands every year. This is a campaign for chatting for life, but for science, you would be careful because you don't know just from this line which comes first. The rich people can, can have a better health, or the health people can produce more money. And this of course, you want to know the Mao Martin is about the life expectancy comparison. I'm going to very quick because the, the, the curve is very clear. Uh, I think uh, today's uh, the College of Public Health National Taiwan University, like uh, Tony Chen or Dean, who are the, with the people, that is the responsibility of our uh, public health. But uh, because of the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <笑>因為我現在喝高了以後都有人喜歡這個是四十度的比較薄的這個是特金牌的那個就是一個給他這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一包給你的這一
That's the part to me that means we all know that, especially when you're in Taiwan. We learned many health system reforms from other countries, but not from the United Equalize the distribution of healthcare resources in Taiwan, which make healthcare access accessible to most of the um, residents in Taiwan. Okay. And a couple of years before we implemented the pension, pro uh, pension program, and we should have long-term care insurance a couple of years ago. But after the, the ruling party changed, so it has been postponed, and we don't know which year it will be implemented. Okay. And here's the characteristics of Taiwan's health care. And hospitals possess sizable outpatient department, so people can go to see a doctor in a hospital or clinics. And hospital doctors are employed all of them. And it's a single payer system run by the government. And for now, we are using the payroll based premium plus a supplementary um, um, premium collection requirement. And the government and employees share the contribution for the insured and their package. And the provider basically is a contract based hospital. Um, less than 13 percent. But this figure will rise very, very quickly. So that's our challenge. And how about health services remote area like in Maju, Jinmen? And this occurrence dropped. The conclusion is life expectancy after national health insurance improved more for low rank health townships. Okay. Here, we have very, very high satisfaction of the public. That means people in Taiwan, they enjoyed the health system, the easy access, and not too bad quality of care, especially at the affordable cost. So I think that's very important because uh, it's the uh, first call in Asian countries are very, very small. It's the only way to, to, to scale to get much more uh, influence is to level. So today, I think we'll talk about the Asian Blue Skull Consultant. Let's welcome Professor Chen. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. You know the, a lot of pollution, uh, not only for the air, but also uh, the other little air, outdoor air, uh, arsenic contamination, uh, even the melanin uh, scandal in China, also the natural disaster like the Fukushima uh, disaster. So, uh, why is it so important in Asia? Uh, because Asia uh, contains half of the world's children. Uh, and also, uh, it's the most uh, rapidly uh, industrialized nation in the world. And so, the children you want to have not the only to our uh, first couple members. As you can see, uh, we divide the outcome, air pollution, indoor air pollution, the out outdoor indoor tobacco smoke, metals, pesticides, uh, pops, persistent organic pop, uh, and, and the behavior. But, but, but this kind of data comes from the first call only, not the routine collected the data. Uh, also, the alleged infection disease. Uh, limited data uh, focus uh, on the household air pollution, limited the evidence on the children, uh, childhood growth and obesity, limited evidence on the endocrine function during the development. Uh, most of the cohort is the way, uh, so because the, if you like to collect the more specimen, they need, you need the more the money to support that. Uh, like the, my uh, PPS study, we collect uh, placenta, uh, cold blood, nationwide perspective the birth code in the future. Another issue is exposure. Because so many chemicals, you can measure uh, the, the contaminants in your blood, in your urine. Uh, maybe hundreds, at least a hundred chemicals you can measure using the, the now the good technique. Uh, the equipment to measure that. So, in addition to his uh, very, very extended claim himself to the screen and uh, treating HP infection in the high risk uh, population uh, on Mazu Island, and uh, he published a lot of paper uh, regarding this uh, field. 
and uh, also in a very, very good, famous uh, uh, SCI paper. And uh, today we are very uh, happy to have this opportunity about classical prevention in Matsu Obesity. Thank you very much, and it is a uh, very limited uh, medical resources and uh, because that, uh, as you can see, you And uh, now we understand that uh, the gastric cancer may progress uh, through a multi-step and the multi fragmentation that they develop a chronic risk for gastric cancer with the endoscopic screening in order to identify the preclinic for early stage gastric cancer and to provide them with the curated treatment. However, after the symptomatic gastric cancer, the treatment modality is quite limited. So, we so using this process, probably we can eliminate the threat. Actually, has a several period. The first period is to use the serological biomarker, which is conducted by the professor Liu Liu Zhengyi, uh, the chief of the uh, initiated by the resident of the Mars Island has uh, received the screen and the treatment for the gauge cancer, the H. pylori infection. So we can the gauge cancer risk after the H. pylori eradication. Uh, as you can see, the surrounding mucosa is already changed. This is a typical H. pylori related gauge ulcer. And uh, as you can see, this is the Professor Lin Zhao Tang and the Professor Wu Minxian, who are the professor in the National Taiwan University Hospital. This is the uh, Dr. Lin Junze, Li Zhongxi. And the most uh, important, this is the chief of the Dr. Liu. is a gastro and a technology management. is a major the level in front of blood. So, at that time, the, those who are Technology possibly will receive endoscopy. However, we only have uh, two gauge cancer were de detected by the endoscope. So for a very short period, I know that uh, endoscopy to turn the body when they perform the endoscopy is developed in this uh, group. And furthermore, some patients are quite afraid of the uh, endoscopy. At that time, the endoscope is quite big, so this is uh, not a rather. Thank you.